It is Sahil, Justin, and Russ in hey the guys. studio today. It is after hours. It is Friday. We are just hanging out. We are vibing together. So, you know, what are we talking about today, gentlemen? Well, spring has sprung. I'm pumped. Weather's great. Everybody knows I'm a big summer guy, so. Let's not jinx it. But yeah, let's we not are in I know. We <laughs> <would>. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> fluke late March or, you know, kind of mid-March, 73 degree day today, so it feels good. And, um, does. It really does. Yeah, I think we just wanted to talk about the fact that spring is coming and, and that leads to a shift in conversations with all of our clients because we're talking about videos that we can shoot for the spring, finally getting, getting back outside, visiting people's offices more. It's just more video activity typically than in the winter. So we're pumped. We're excited. And we just kind of wanted to, to roll this podcast Friday afternoon, a little casual setting, not going to go over like specific marketing topics necessarily, but just want to hang out with you guys and, and talk some marketing, kind of talk about what we're, we're looking forward to this year. I'm sure Justin's probably ecstatic because like you don't have to wear like two jackets while oh carrying God, all that dude. equipment. And you know, it's uh, so, so yeah, there's, there's nothing better than going to a video shoot. I imagine than just being able to, you know, go in shorts, a nice pole and you're just, you're just enjoying the summer day. Dude, there's nothing mind, worse so. than trying to stay outside and you have like 10 layers on. You're trying oh, to like dude, move around. It's I mean, the worst. it sucks. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, I can't even imagine that. Lugging all the camera stuff around is tough as it is. Yeah. So when you add like snow and bulkiness. Oh and man. Yeah. The and, the worst. Yeah. It's just, it's rough. And so. Justin carries a lot of equipment. You, you have a lot like, mm-hmm. you know, for, for, yeah. for shoots that are kind of, you know, yeah. Yeah, people don't and, realize and, and when, when we show up, you yeah. don't see a lot of that behind the scenes. But when we show up, it's a lot of times like the full Pelican case with oh, a backpack. Yeah. And no matter it's a, it's where you want to shoot. Set up. Yeah. Yeah. No matter where you want to shoot, guys, we got you covered. That's it. Your world <laughs> is our studio, baby. That's for sure. That's it. <laughs> and now our studio is your studio. I appreciate it. Hell it's yeah. huge. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. That's it. You know, you know, one thing, uh, side note from the business, one thing I am excited about is being able to... Uh, to golf again yep. you know I, I think russ here he he brought me into the sport last year and you know if it's it's been addicting ever since yeah. i mean i'm absolutely terrible <laughs> still it's the first year i suck but you, you know it's it's gonna well. be the first it's gonna yeah last year what when did we start we started like in july i think we we went and got fitted yeah if for that, the clubs and then later. like i got my clubs in august yep. and yeah we didn't play that much uh but hey still broke a hundred you broke a hundred. Still broke a hundred feet for a first year. Golfer. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can Golfers duplicate that now. this year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, so that's the thing that you have a lot of potential. You you say you suck, but golfers out there know if you broke a hundred your first year, even if it was a fluke, it, it can't be done unless you have some sort of ability to hit the ball and. You're going to be just fine. You have a long road ahead, but you're going to be just fine. And so I'm, I, I'm pumped I can't, to get out there this year with you, man. I can't wait. It's awesome. it's going to be very fun. I, it's going to be the first full year. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to try Justin's all the different courses. Justin's going to be out courses. there with us. Oh, my God, dude. Shooting, yeah, trying no. different courses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Justin came with us once. For the people, I hate golf, year. by the way. <laughs> Justin came with us once uh, last year. How was it? How, how was your experience? I had some pretty good hot dogs there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean golf's not my thing but it's nice to get outside i'm a nature guy you know i can i can get down i can Take enjoy it. yeah you know Love enjoy it. the yeah. time that'll be fun and like just kind of on the topic of getting outside too we've been doing a lot of conversations planning for the spring talking about like skit topics like through the through the winter i think it's safe to say generally we're doing like bulk content shooting where we'll go in and oh, shoot yeah. like we'll, we'll shoot mm-hmm. once And the goal being to get like 15 to 20 potentially in one day, like topic videos that are going to be rolled out efficiently over the course of, you know, however many months. But in the spring, it's more time to like get creative, spend a month planning out one video or two videos and doing like a really elaborate like full day shoot where you get an awesome promo video. Right. And well, that's what we're kind of planning now is with some of our clients just having those conversations. Like what, what yeah. fun things are we going to do this summer? Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's like the biggest struggle too, is nobody wants to be outside and it yep. takes super long to get all the things done. And you don't have a lot of uh, diversity in your setting if you're working inside. So you yep. can get outside, you can go anywhere. If it's public, you don't really need permits depending on what you're doing. So yeah, a lot more options. It opens you up a lot more. So yep. hundred percent. Yeah. We got some really fun, one, it's, fun it's, ones planned. Yeah, Justin and I were saying, it's, it, we were talking about videos with uh, an insurance client. I won't say the names, but um, 
we were just dying laughing and like <laughs> just talking about the just ideas. Trying to come up with a script. Coming yeah. up with, and we were just like, that is such a good sign. If yeah. we're crying, laughing, thinking about these guys doing that, like the video is just going to be a killer. Man, tell me you have a good job when you're just dying laughing, doing the work, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's just such a happy time. Like, especially if you're in New England, just to, just to get through that, you know, oh my yeah. God, I'm trying to shoot outside. Cause I need, I want that city background, um, you know, for, for my, for my interview style intro video, but holy shit, like I'm, I'm, I am actually freezing. It's yeah. A, it's nobody a, wants yeah, their everyone's just happier. To... People want to shoot more content it leads to more ideas where, you know, more events are happening. Um, especially here in, in New England where we're, you know, we're, we're fortunate to be near the, the water. There's lots of beaches. There's lots of, you know, state parks that have outdoor events. So it's um, just the ability to go to those. Also have fun yourself while you're shooting. It's, it's, it's just a fun season. And this is really the first year after a long two years of not really being able to do a lot of things in person. It yeah. kind of feels like this is the first year where events are going to be packed. Right. And like, you know, whatever we're shooting outside is going to be a lot more lively than it was the last two years for obvious reasons. So that's kind of exciting. Everybody's in a bad mood too. Yeah. Out of the house. <laughs> Everybody, you know, yeah, you exactly. Know? Warm away. Finally emerging. Definitely. Where do you where do you see uh just, you know, the, the kind of like the landscape going into like the spring rush? Like do you see uh certain things kind of changing as far as like behavior on social, things like that? I think it's like kind of a humble brag kind of it's a brag brag like I think we <laughs> called our shot like six years ago man like I think we we're talking about this a little bit on the last podcast too but like the strategy is to do high quality content consistently and so I think what I'm seeing trend wise is that that is like continuing to be the deciding factor no matter what changes like in the marketplace you can always make good content consistently and you're gonna you're gonna win on social media and it no matter what the actual trends are that you're talking about like that's the overarching trend that leads to success so people in in their own industries have trends that they want to talk about but if you're asking us like if you're asking me what the marketing strategy is like what's the new marketing strategy trend there isn't one like that's the most tried and true trend there is it just be consistent be authentic like we talked about on the last podcast that's that's the the main move to make on social it's it's like the trend is the trend of just getting started Right. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Like just yeah, do yeah, something. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, like, it's, it's I'm like, seeing more people realize that it's important. There's yeah, definitely just, a trend of everybody realizing that, oh, you know. Yeah, did you know, uh, here's an interesting, you know, stat, 66% of brands spent a bulk of their marketing budget last year, and this is everyone from Fortune 100s down to the mom and pop shops on content strategy-driven marketing. How could you not? It's and 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 let me say that again. Content strategy driven. So content, yes, but strategy driven content. Yeah, that is a very good where, key. Yeah, point where and sixty six percent of brands. So so if you think you're alone out there, like this, this is everyone from the major brands of the world down to your local shop that you go to often. It's everyone. Ha- is spending on this some because they have to spend on it there's no other avenue left right. some because they're starting to understand the importance of if you don't you're going, you're going to end up in, 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 in you know uh, in well, the same boat as the a, first people so it's yeah. um the importance like you said russ is definitely starting to be become more and more prevalent as a marketing strategy like content creation is the marketing strategy Mm -hmm. whereas five years ago it was like yeah that could be like you know a part of it like we need some graphics for the ads and it's like no 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 like the actual strategy of rolling out content Mm -hmm. is the best advertisement it's no longer like running like obviously you can run ads too and that's a whole other side of the conversation well you know you're you're mentioning the prevalence and, and importance of content. If someone Russ was just starting out, let's say they don't have a lot of resources um, or, or you know equipment to to shoot or or something. What what's something they can do on 
on on a controlled budget to at least get some content out there? Well, what 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 are some things? I mean, I always tell people when they're they're just not ready to hire us yet, and I'm honest with people. I'm like, you're not at the point yet where it makes sense to hire us because the budget isn't right, and they're just not gonna be able to generate enough high quality content. It's fine. You know, we'll be ready for them in a couple of years. And what I tell them. Right. That's is, not the end of the world. Right. That people, just means we're you know? in and we're always there for people yeah. too. Like I'm a friend. Yeah. We to consult people, people on that. We tell people that. Right. Yeah, it's like, 100%. hey, like, listen, it's uh, yeah, you're just looking to start out. Listen, it's not best to work together. Like, you know, right now it's right. like, hey, right start now, out with this. Let's us. level up to this. And then, but but yeah, good. You know, well, kind of elaborate on that. How can someone start out? What, what would they need? What are some things out there? What are some free tools? You know, anything. I mean, your phone's the the best tool, right? So just going back to our, our last conversation again on like documentation versus creation, all you need is a cell phone to document and create like on a really low basic level what you're doing. So you Mm -hmm. can take selfie selfie videos on your phone and talk about different topics. You can take pictures of your office or, uh, you know, an office pet or anything that's happening in the office or, or, I mean, if you're a visually based business and there's manufacturing of a product going on, obviously behind the scenes, pictures and footage is super easy to create on your phone. There's lots of things that you can do to get yourself to the point where a year from now you are ready to hire us. And the more you do it on your own, I think also clients who have done that for like a year or two and then called us back later, they value our services more too because they've done all the photos, the the uploading, the caption writing, oh, I need a graphic for this. How do I make a graphic? You know what I mean? Like all these learning curves that we obviously are so streamlined on that end. And we're, we, it took me 15 years to learn how to make this graphic in five minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or in an hour where it would take the client 10 hours to make the same graphic. Yeah, you're not necessarily so they, paying they for time. See, spend it for, yeah, the they knowledge. see that value because they've done it on their own and, and they've got their social media up to the point where, okay, now you're ready for a content upgrade. And that's when we come in and just bring you up a notch quality wise. Well, well, it's something that we're so transparent on as well. You know, it's, we, we are for, for, for those listening out there, we, we are welcoming on, on those starting stages. Hey, we were a startup one day, Mm -hmm. right? So we, we understand how it's like, and it's something that, you know, it's one of our core values, transparency, just yes. it's uh, it's it's just deeply rooted in our consulting where and helping any way we can. Yeah, it's you know, we make it clear where, you know, if you approached us and you said like, hey, I'm just starting out like I'm looking for some ideas. Um, if I can do this myself, like w- what can I do? How can I get started? We will be transparent and help you. Like mm-hmm. we will say, hey, we man, we want well, you to be a client someday. Yeah, we want you to we'll help you. We get want there. you to first and foremost succeed. You know, help the local community. That makes you know now now the local co- that helps the local community, right? And and that just goes around. Uh, so first and foremost, yeah, we want you to succeed. And and second, yeah, that that will help you level up to the stage where you're where you're ready to chase that higher end level of it delegate it out partner with another team so you can just keep on growing your business but yeah we're very transparent and we'll tell you like hey if you're just starting out like okay if if this is your budget like okay let's focus on this hey man like you should really do this like you know how many times russ have we told people um listen like you're in an industry where short form quick videos are best like just grab like a ten dollar like like Amazon tripod, put up your phone, just get, get it going, you know, mm-hmm. get, get your, get your name out there. Just, right. uh, you know, do something like you right. don't have to, you know, because the high end version yeah, because, of and then they get one clip is expensive. Yeah. And then we, and, and by the way, we'll consult you. Like, you know, we'll say like, you know, once you have this content, like reach back out to us, like we'll, we'll tell you like, Hey, with this tag, like, you know, we'll mm. give you some tips and maybe some tricks. Like this is how you want to release it in, in this manner. And so, and, and then they get one client off of that. They crush it for their client. And um, now they have, you know, that client refers to other clients. Now, now they're growing and now they're like, Hey guys, I want to shoot like a full blown production. Mm. Like, and then we set up a pre-production call with, with, you know, Justin and 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 then we just you know we we take over and we become that content team for them because now they're just crushing it they're they're just right. they building got their the business going. yeah they're well that's the thing and it's we'll like you help have to you. have we'll built, help you get that momentum going 
right. you know, in a transparent right. way. Like we love doing that. We love seeing, especially members of the local community, just just succeed. It yeah, it, it helps like helping everyone. businesses grow. I like helping businesses grow. I think it's fun. So I'm always there as like a friend, even if you're not a client, you're not 100%. ready for us. Yeah, I'm always like, oh, here's what you could do. Here are my thoughts on this. I try to help people like be aware enough about the industry so that they don't get kind of like conned into a, a really bad package with somebody else. Because in right. a lot of cases, how we yeah, started we'll, we our will business protect you is from because that. we we came in at a time where everyone was getting crushed by like big no-name marketing companies. And we came in and were like, Hey, if you take a look at what this contract says, like there's a lot of smoke and mirrors here. And we've kind of, we've kind of always been like that Robin hood company where we're like, we're just trying to help. Um, right. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Justin, like on, on the video side, especially since video is just a, a dominant form of content now, like how can someone get started? Like what can they do when they're first starting out? Like, um, you know, maybe small budget or maybe they just have a one person team, whatever it may be. If someone's just starting businesses, you mean businesses, yeah. Businesses, uh, anyone that's looking to pursue the route of, um, you know, go, yeah, go building that digital presence. Like how can they just start out on the video side? You need a camera. That's literally it. That's all you need. You need a camera and you need some ideas. And at the end of the day, you can go so far with just that. You don't need, lighting you don't need audio i mean these are really super like vital things in a great production but you don't right. need them starting out like you know the first yeah. race you run doesn't have to be a marathon you can right. run a mile you can run do whatever you need to work your way up and figure out exactly what works for you and what you're going to need mm-hmm. um, we always you, tell people like go back and look at your favorite influencers <laughs> first video ever yeah and yeah. it's shocking yeah, like it's, it's always like that's the other thing. Most too. of the time, it takes a deleted long time. It. <laughs> yeah. And it's also like 5,000 posts ago. So kind yeah. of just testimonial to the fact that it takes consistency. A lot of times you, you see these people with 5 million followers and you go back and there's 6,000 posts on their Instagram over the last 10 years. But if you do get back to that first video, you're like, oh, wow, they started from nothing just like me. You know, that's and what I, I can yeah. get there. Right. But like respect the hustle too. And respect how much, how many hours went into that content creation, whether they did it themselves or as they leveled up, were smart enough to allocate different aspects of content creation to right. experts like us. Like that's how they, they scaled up. They, they bootstrapped it and they slowly had more resources to get higher end productions going and do more. It's yeah. Yeah. You and can't fake it. That, that's the thing I love most about working with businesses rather than anybody else is because a lot of the people are like minded like us. We're all focused on one goal at the end of the day and it's, you know, providing a service or it's solving a problem or a pain point. Um, yeah. And I love it. And I think a lot of the people that we do work with have, you know, similar aspects of their personal development life. And that's my favorite part. Like I can become friends with the people that I work for mm-hmm. and my clients and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. I, I, elaborate on, uh, the, the camera side of that, Justin, like you mentioned, like all you need is like, you know, to, just a camera to get started. Um, like, can, can you elaborate that on, uh, you know, to, just on like maybe what kind or, or can they start with like an iPhone camera? Can they like, yeah, what are like you the know, basic, basic essentials. like, yeah. If someone yeah. had, you know, like a starting budget that was so limited, but they, they did want to do something. They wanted to spend that time. What, what can they do on the video end? Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, if you have an iPhone right there, it's already great. The iPhone 13 has 10 bit color, which is like awesome. Just crazy. A lot of, a lot of cameras out there don't even have 10 bit color. And so, yeah, I mean, for people who don't know what that is, you probably don't need that. But you know, if you're looking for just a simple, easy setup, iPhone is fantastic for that. It does great job. They, I know they sell wireless labs for iPhones too, that you can just plug right into the headphone jack and I mean, yeah, they're decent quality, they do, but right. better than yeah. like if you're like you hear your voice echoing across the the room. So right. little things like that go right. a long way. And I don't think a lot of people know like yeah, to with, look with out your for iPhone audio. and under a hundred dollars, you can get pretty yeah. far. A yeah, couple I, light, oh, a couple twenty dollar lights, a couple twenty dollar lav mics. Dude, absolutely. You if you buy the fine. lav mic, probably thirty bucks on Amazon. You right. buy a set of like two or three like newer lights, which are like just a cheaper, you know, mm-hmm. entry level brand. You know, probably like one hundred fifty bucks. You could be all in, do a decent production for like two hundred bucks with yep. your iPhone, and yep. yeah, I mean, you know, the kicker have, is that then it's your job to export edit, that video, yep. edit the whole thing, figure they out got, how you're going to break right. it up. They got free editing post. software, you know, right. on the Mac. It can all MacBook be done. It comes it's with it, so <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, w- one of the key terms that you mentioned, Justin, was personal development. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, as far as the marketing, branding, growing a business, uh, w- 
regardless of function, I think a key part where uh, development kicks in is once you reach a point, you you should, you know, be able to make that decision where, where you're like, okay, I, I got started. Hey, I understood how this process worked. I, I now know how to strategize my content, how to prepare for, you know, the materials that I want to release. But you should never reach the point where now that holds you back. Mm-hmm. Right. Like if it's been one year, two year, now you're crushing business. OK, now it's like, hey, let me bring on a team. I know what I want to talk about. I want to do a production like this, you know, something cool, have the team handle it. That way you can keep on growing. Right. Because that's where development. Right. Keeps you never want to yeah. like we're, go we're hard development partners. Yeah. We're development partners where it's, um, you know, we'll consult all the way through. Like we're very transparent. Like we love talking to people. We love helping them strategize. We love helping the local community. But that's another thing that we're transparent about where it's like, hey, man, like you're crushing it. You're reaching that point where like now this is turning into a bottleneck for you. Mm-hmm. Like you need to bring in, right, right. you know, it's you need to bring to... in a team. Like you need to like, you know, whether it's us, whether it's someone else, like it doesn't matter to us. Our right. goal is to just be transparent and, and help you just keep on doing that. Yeah. You know, it, it's it community first. If you yeah, start so doing it yourself, eventually you're going to get to the point where you know, it's bringing in more business. And you can actually quantify, look, these hours aren't worth it for me to spend on shooting and editing. And if I could just crush all the business that's coming in from these and have somebody else shoot and edit and put them out, right? I can run a very efficient business. It's going to be higher quality, bring in higher quality leads. It's inevitable, though. If you do it right on your own and bootstrap it properly, you will get to the point where it's unsustainable for you to do it on your own. It doesn't even make sense for you to do it on your own. And you are ready for a company like us. Yeah. Marketing is one of the strongest functions of, of business today. It's, you know, uh, obviously enough can't be said about it. So never reach a point where you, you know, think that it's not worth delegating the marketing piece out to professionals. Like it's never it's so let that important. be a bottleneck. Yeah. It's, it's so important because you know, there's, there's a lot of hesitation, right? It's um, you know, once a business starts to make some money, they want to keep as much of that margin as possible for themselves. They, they might, ha- they might have other expenses from, from rent and, and so on. It's, but yeah, it's, it's one thing where you never want it. You always want to remain consistent, but you never want it to become a bottleneck for you. Where it's, right. it's, hey, remain consistent. And if you are, if you've reached that point where now you're some, you know, you, you, you've had some success with the content and you're just growing, you want to push, you want to scale. It's like, don't be hesitant. Don't be scared to, to, you know, work with a local agency like ours or, or yeah. find someone that can help you or, you know, wh- whether you need, and that's not just for video, that's for graphics or, for the or, whole fl- strategy. or it's for blogs or anything like yeah. find someone to help you. You know, you have we, to we always constantly say that. improve yeah. your strategy content across the board. It's like like you said, video, graphic, blog, whatever you have to keep evolving or else you just will plateau. You will plateau and just, and, and crash. Like if you just keep doing the same thing, same quality, never changing, even if you do that year over year, eventually you're just going to, your audience is going to grow for a little while, but it's eventually going to plateau and eventually you'll see diminishing returns. So you're putting the same amount of hours in getting less of a Even result. More. Yeah. But if yeah. you continue to create higher quality content, evolve <clears throat> the conversation a little bit, use the tips of an expert to like figure out the most efficient ways to roll it all out what topics should be covered based on trends that we see and you don't possibly like there's so many things that we can help you with. And that's right. the key. Like the, the only way to keep things going is to keep improving it, You have to be in this constant state of like, I can, I can make more content. I can make better content. And I want to touch on something that you had brought up in the fact that you don't really need, like you said, if you can do all the components yourself and you, you're not good at editing or you don't have the time to like, you only have time to set up and do a 10 minute shoot even getting your toes wet with somebody who can do it for you, whether it's a marketing agency, you find an editor on one of these job posting websites, Craigslist, whatever, um, getting your feet wet will really show you exactly like, what does it take to create a production? Like what are these steps that I have to figure out and plan for in order to get there? And then I think you've said this before too. I think a lot of people, when they do that, they actually recognize the value and what it is that we do rather than, you know, just having no idea what it is. They actually see it in detail. So that's beneficial for us, obviously, because it's great to, for the clients to know our value, 
but it's great for them too because it protects them from overpaying for a company because they know how much does go into it and right. it'll give them some perspective. Like they won't pay $40,000 for a 60 second video just because some, like they'll know. Yeah. They'll have a, some sort of idea of what goes, you 100%. know. 100%. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's, it's, it's like, you know, if, and it just goes, you know, it goes back to development. You know, if, uh, the, the, let's take one industry. If, if you're a real estate agent, Right. If let's say you just started out. OK, cool. You you have you know, you have your piece of hardware. You're going to start shooting some content. You're documenting, you're documenting your stories, you know, open houses, w w whatever it may be. Now, let's say you got one client, you, you, you crushed it for that client. Now they gave you two more, you know, those two branched out and three more. Now, now you have some business going. You have some cash flow to spend. You know, it's like it's it's. Now, do not let... I see you, Russ. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> you better yeah, give me one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Always Happy made me spread. pause. It was like, you know, it's... Uh, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's Keep like... Going. Worry about yourself. It's all, good. it's all good over here. Can you pour me some too, brother? Yeah, I got I'll you. take the same amount as you. I got you. But uh, now, let's say, let's say uh, you know, shooting content yourself, making your graphics, making your blog post, uh, you know, doing your own email marketing. Let's say all of that. Let's say with all of that, you have been able to reach the success of maybe like maybe five or 10 transactions a year. You know, I'm just, I'm just spitballing numbers. Now, if your goal is maybe if you're just a side you know, if it's, if it's just a side hustle for you and, and, and you did that, maybe you just want to preserve that. Cool. Like, you know, keep doing what it is you're doing. Obviously, you built up to that level. You did right. great. Keep doing right. it. If you're happy, but now yeah. if you said like, hey, I, I want to replicate this and, and I want to do I, I want to reach 50 transactions. Hey, mm -hmm. one day I want to be doing 100 a year. But if you, you want to reach like top producer status, it's like, well, now how are you going to maximize your time? And that's also what we help with. Yes. Like we say, like, listen, we are not here to just be like. Here's a cookie cutter marketing template. No. Like and you we're need not just to trying do to this. Sell. Like, we, that's no, where the consulting like, piece comes listen, in. Listen, like you want to sell more houses. How about this? What would two more hours mean to you? What would four more hours mean to you? Yeah. Like right now, okay, you're shooting these videos yourself. You're 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 posting on social by yourself. You're you're uh, you know you're editing by yourself. You're you're writing these blogs by yourself. You're spending maybe four six hours. You know every other day for it. Like what would these additional 30 hours mean to you? Could you quantify that? Right. And what would it mean to you if someone who's done this for the last 10, you know, 15 years with professionalism understands the latest on how these platforms are doing and they can position you the best. What would that mean to you if, if they can handle that for you, maintain the image that you want portrayed, do it in a way it. that, you know, they can sustain what you were doing or do it better because we, right. you worked on it together. Right. Now you have all this free time because you plowed that, that cash flow back in. Now you will get to the 30, the 50. Yeah. You know, most of the time I've realized in business, it's not a matter of the marketing function or the accounting function or the sales function that, that people don't understand. It's, it's a matter of the time function that people don't understand. Yeah. I think right. people are starting to pick up on it, but man, has it been an uphill battle for us to, <laughs> it's just been years. W which glass was mine? There was, it's been years where we've kind of been trying to have that conversation with people. And that's where the consulting pieces come in naturally to our business where we have encountered so many business owners where it's very clear to us that, there's a misallocation of resources when it comes to their time and how they're creating content or, you know, it could be somebody in the office. That's not necessarily a business owner, but like the receptionist is the one posting on Facebook. And it's like, man, she's definitely not the most efficient graphic designer. You know, she's definitely not the most efficient writer of, or so, of or social media captions or, or the daughter. It could be any, yeah. Family right. members. <laughs> it's like, Oh my, yeah, my niece, my nephew does our social media. So we're fine. And I think when people work with us, they, it's very clear that like we know what we're doing and it, it makes sense to hire us. But yeah, it has been an uphill battle for us to over the years, convince people like, Hey, <laughs> you can, your time is better spent. And we, we've gotten really good at helping people take, even if what they're doing is great, it's because we're so efficient with how we shoot and how we edit now. It, we're able to give pointers on just about any any process if we take a look at it. It's like, hey, you know, you could have gotten a few more videos done on this day. You could have made this a little bit better it, somehow. 
there's always something that we can do to improve. And when people bring right. us on, they see it. Well, just recently, this week, actually, um, you know, we we helped a client where it, it was on the ads front. They were doing it themselves mm -hmm. and we helped them within a week. Um, and, you know, it's it's always based on industry based, you know, based on how much data you have and, and, and right. how long it takes to get going. But but this, you know, this person was you know, they were doing the best they can. They were active and and running the ads and all. We helped them cut down on their marketing ad spent while yielding more results. That's often, it's like easier it's, than people. And when right. you talk about not only ad spend, but entire marketing budget, and I, I'm glad you brought that up because I want to have like sort of a transparent conversation with people just so they trust us. And it goes back to how we just want to help. Mm -hmm. It's like, I know, and we all know that there's, so many clients who call us and what they tell us is their marketing budget is probably half of what they're actually spending on. And, and as we work with clients over the years, we uncover these stones of like, Oh yeah, I've been spending like $300 a month on Google ads that have just been automated by me for the last three years. Right. <laughs> and it's like, Oh my God, like, Oh my God. <laughs> if we knew that you had just a, a spare, like horribly right, like, managed Google AdWords <laughs> campaign running for the last three years. Like, right. oh man, what we could have done with that three, just 300 bucks a month or, or, and sometimes it's way more, but even if it's less, it's like we can right. always, what, even if it's $50 a month that you're spending somewhere else, we can almost always we'll find a more you. efficient place for it. Whether it's like this video could have been made better or you could have used it. It's, we can always finesse the budget and we're always right. trying to help you be more efficient. It's like, I, I don't it's, it's hard because marketing companies have that like right. bad. Everybody has a bad taste in their yeah. mouth. It's what we learned very well, well, early on. Justin, but you're a freelance videographer. What have you seen on the content side like lately? You know, it's uh, what are some questions that people have? Like if they're just starting out or like, you know, what have you signed up? What have you seen on the video site specifically since it's a dominant form of content? As far as what? Like what people are looking like, how people can looking start for, or, or maybe starting out, or you know, maybe misconceptions. It, it, yeah, misconceptions, like a anything. Like, um, so from I'm trying to get an, a gauge of like what perspective, like somebody who's a business owner looking budget, to do these videos, or somebody who's actually like looking to get into the art of videography and filmmaking on, on the business side. So like, okay, a business so somebody owner who's looking to create content right, for their business right. to promote their business. And right. so your question is, what are some things that they can do to start? Well, we, we kind of hit on that. A I little would say bit, more on the budget topic, right? So somebody who's well, on a more, budget then. Well, more on just like, uh, just what have you been seeing? Cause like we talked about, you know, one thing we've been seeing is just like, you know, the bottleneck of, of development, right? One thing we've been seeing is just, uh, okay, so, okay. is, is the bottleneck of starting out. Oh my God, how do I start out? Like what, what are some things you see like on the freelancing side, maybe of like, maybe it's the first video someone wants to create or the more but, but like on so the consulting hesitant. side of video production. Like we're talking about how we help with the strategy and yeah, the, we can consolidate the budget. So right. consulting yeah. people through video production. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just trying to make sure exactly I'm understanding what you're asking. So you're talking you about took, somebody okay, can who, we pause for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you guys brought up a lot of good points as far as, you know, what it is that Namra can do for its clients and why that applies so much value to these people, right? Like you said in the beginning, some people who have never been creating content before in their lives are, are not going to understand the value until they do something like that. Just like anything else, you're not going to understand the reason for it unless you do it. You see how hard it is. Um, and that was another reason we, we kind of talked about earlier is I really, really love working with businesses, especially in Rhode Island and the New England areas, because so many people up here are focused on personal development and bettering themselves outside of their business, too. So I wanted to get a little bit more of an understanding of what it is, um, you know, you guys find most important about how you relate your personal development into your business development. And maybe hopefully, you know, we can have some tips and tricks um, and, you know, maybe different stories as to, you know, why that's important. I mean, I think everything we do from a consulting standpoint is kind of built around like our passion for helping everybody develop professionally and personally. Like, I think that's kind of just who we are as people is like, we want to help people grow. We want everybody around us to grow. And so it makes it easy. Um, and yeah, I think that's a good point, Justin, to bring up just like if through the consulting that we do, we our goal is just to help everybody grow and, and be more successful and, um, that ties into kind of like the classic, like, why do you do what you do? Yeah. Sort of, hundred sort of thing, you know? So yeah, I, I guess I, I want people to know, like we're, we are here for, that's sort of the, the people that we are. We're here for you. We want everybody around us to grow and be successful and we'll do whatever we can to, to help you. 
Yeah, we, we've just always been big on community. You know, it's uh, w- whether it's, you know, the, yeah, we're, we're primarily focused on Mass, Rhode Island, Connecticut, but because we're, we're, we're local to these markets. But, um, you know, I, I think just going a little bit back into the, even the personal story side of things and how we started out as a startup, just we've, we've been through it and we understand what people go through. So, th- I mean, this isn't a NAMRA thing, you know, it's, it's more of a, like we just have it in our hearts to see people win. It's just, it's just yeah. so amazing to see people yeah. win, like climb out of situations. Maybe they, they tried something that, you know, their friends and family said, Oh, don't pursue that. Like, yeah. no, it's like, you tried it and now it's successful. Like now it's you know, just, just seeing that is so, it's just so awesome for us where, you know, yes, sometimes we get to be a part of that and we, and we get to see those victories and we get to help with those victories. So yeah, that that's yeah. awesome. But more importantly, it's, it's just that local, you know, community feel of, Hey, I know so-and-so person or, or this so-and-so person knows this person and, and Hey, everyone's winning. It's just going around in the community um and yeah m- more so than marketing or business or, or development or any of this um other stuff it's just about you know seeing people win brings joy it, it just strengthens the community yeah. um I think it's, as, it's, as justin was saying earlier too it's i think uh, because we did our own thing we kind of like grass rooted this company and we've built our way up it gives us like an added perspective when we're trying to help people step out of their comfort zone on things like content creation like oh i'm afraid of the camera it's like, well, yeah, we understand what it's like to be afraid of right. something and, and to do it anyway right. and, and realize that once you have done it once, it's way easier than you thought. And so we're ha- here like it's not our job, but like just ca- again, who we are, like we just try to lift people up and say like, look, we know it's uncomfortable, but that's where growth happens is outside of your comfort zone. And if you step in front of the camera and allow us to kind of just work with you through the process, we promise it's going to go way smoother than you ever thought. You're going to present yourself better than you ever thought. Nobody likes watching themselves on video. But we, again, it's like our experience of working with like hundreds of clients who have, they, nobody likes themselves on video. And we know yeah. that. And we joke around with our clients about that. And we say, nobody loves it. <laughs> like it's going <laughs> to be, us. it's going to be weird, yep. but you're going to post it anyway. Yep. And that sort of like added like personal kind of motivation, I think separates us from somebody who just doesn't care quite as much. Definitely. Yeah. I think, you know, if, if we can, close this podcast on one main note it would be that you know we are here for you what we listen that's not that has nothing to do yeah. with namra that has nothing to do with business or or you know well, oh my god okay can we, we can shoot some video con- no no, no. It, listen we're here to listen we just care about the community you know s- seeing businesses win so it's it's all about just like sharing no, again, those experiences with with each other um you know where we are here to to help strategize like listen or, or any bottlenecks that you may be facing to help you guide through those because we've been through those mm-hmm. right so it it always makes our day when we can help the business that that's also been in the same stage that we were at like five years ago and right. now we're like hey well th- we know exactly what's right. going through your mind and then they're like 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 holy shit, like, how did you know that? It's like, beca- yeah. because we, we were literally there. We've done it for ourselves <laughs> so and it's, we've done um, it for many clients. Yeah, so, so it's know. like, so yeah, it's like the main takeaway is like, hey, like, you know, get started, like do what it is that, that you need to do, like understand what's important. Um, like some things can't be avoided, like, you know, wh- whether you like content or not, like you, you need to pursue some form of that. That's just what's coming. So, um, you know, pursue that. If you have questions, reach out. Don't be hesitant to bottleneck yourself on the content side. Reach out to the experts, you know, find someone that can help you. Um, you know, it, even if you can delegate, you know, a 15 minutes of your time in a day back to you, like find someone that can take that 15 minutes up. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's, we're just all about personal growth. We, we, we share these stories with our clients all the time. Uh, you know, they share theirs with ours. We learn about it. We, we just, um, uh, you know, push for growth, um, talk about it, you know, partner with the uh, with the people that are going to help strategize through that part and um that's what it's all about you know strengthening the local community we're building it together and uh, that's that's what you know it's all about mm-hmm. i like it yes sir i think that's a great way to end off yep all right 
Thanks, guys. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Was... Thanks for listening.